Our trip to Japan wasn't quite as outdoorsy as most of my adventures, but I couldn't go there and not do any hiking. The hike I decided on was Minnow Falls. Minnow Falls isn't quite like most of the trails I explored back in the States. The path the entire way up is paved. There are a bunch of little shops along the way and tons of vending machines on the trail. Despite all these differences, however, there are some important similarities. The trail ends at a stunning waterfall, and there's a possibility of seeing some pretty amazing wildlife. Our journey to Minnow Falls started as soon as we got off the train at Minnow Station. As you travel towards the falls, you walk along the small streets past a ton of small shops. Around 95% of the manhole covers in Japan have designs, many of which are based on the local area. Partway up the trail, there's an insect museum, which we decided to stop at on the way back. As you're walking, there are a lot of little side areas to check out, many of which either don't have signs or the signs are in Japanese, so we didn't explore a lot of them, but I did see a little shrine I wanted to get a better look at. We decided this sign meant, don't feed the monkeys bananas. They actually prefer berries. It's a common misconception. On a more serious note, we were aware there were monkeys in Japan as a whole, but up until these signs, we're unaware they lived in this particular area. I was super excited to actually see a monkey along the trail. I've never seen a wild monkey in real life before.
we think these may be horsehair worms, which are a parasitic worm that infects certain insects. The parasite reproduces in water, so once the parasite is ready to reproduce, it controls the host's brain to direct it to enter the water, where the parasite then exits the host's body. I don't know. As I mentioned earlier, we did stop at the insect museum on the way back down, and you'll see why shortly. All of these insects were super interesting, but towards the end we came to the real reason why I wanted to stop here, the butterfly garden. I love visiting butterfly gardens. Unfortunately this one had a rule that you weren't allowed to touch the butterflies, but it's still really nice to see them all. There is a snack that's pretty unique to this area that I had to try before we left. These are deep fried maple leaves. They're super crunchy and basically just taste like maple. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to be always adventuring.